This is a Bugaboo Dragonfly, and today we're going to show you how to remove all of the textiles from the seat frame in case you want to wash them or conduct small sewing repairs. First thing we're going to do is to remove the seat frame from the chassis. So you want to lift up on that uh, recline position trigger on the back, lift up on the leg rest, find the correct position, and just slide it off of the chassis. Then we're going to remove the canopy. So on the back here, you want to pull the canopy over the trigger for the position of the recline. Sort of separate a little bit from the seat. Lift up this flap and you'll see there's this little tag here. There's one on either side and you're going to press them in. And that allows you to disconnect that back rib from the seat back. I'm going to rotate the canopy around and just pop it right out from these holes. All right, next up, flip it upside on its side, and then we're going to undo these buttons. There are four of them. There we go. Lift up the seat. I'm going to feed the harness through the slits in the textiles. So that was the central buckle. Pulling up these little loops over these adapters for the bumper bar. Do the same thing with these side harness buckles. We'll lift it up a bit from the side and then fit that cushion through. What I was doing was just feeding that belt all the way through. Do the same thing on this side. It actually helps a little bit here if you twist it around, then you can get that little lip of the cushion more easily through the hole. And feeding it all the way through. All right. Moving up here on the side, you can reach in under here, and we're going to pull those shoulder straps through as well on both sides. So there's one. There's this other one, turning it this way so that it's easier with that lip. Just gonna slide it all the way in. Then I'm gonna pull this textile over this other little adapter here on both sides. top here, you have to pull this trigger in to the seat back. There's like a second loop that you have to get it over. Get a little bit of looseness there. There we go. And then we can slide off the entire textile piece. There's also this little textile cover over the leg rest if you'd like to remove that as well. For the most part, it can just be wiped clean, but you're just going to slide it down. And then there's a gap in the middle that allows you to slide it off. This can just go in the machine as well if you like. Putting this back together then, we're just going to start by putting this back on. So one side in, and then scrunching it down to get the other side in. Pulling it in tight. The textiles for both the seat and the canopy can be washed on a cold wash of 30 degrees and then you hang them up to dry. We're going to take the main textiles from the seat and the first step is just to slide them all the way down on the seat back. You just got to get these positioned correctly to slide them and slot them in. top here and we're going to pull that button in through that first one. The other one is on the canopy. Pull it so that these stick all the way out. I'm going to 
reach in and we're going to get our shoulder straps. And you don't want it to be twisted. That goes for all of these straps. So reaching in from the side as well as maybe through. And then the correct position for these is like this, like upwards. Yeah? sides, underneath, and we're getting these side straps. There we go. I'm going to pull these all the way as well. So that they pop out like this. And the central strap. then upside down like this and pull these buttons out and do these ones and then the side ones Just tuck in your tags the other element were these loops that go over these uh, this place for the bumper bar, and they kind of found the position on their own. Probably be the same for you. The canopy. The inside here works like a key into a keyhole. It needs to go in, fold it down like this. And then the whole thing rotates backwards here was this plastic tag, and then needs to find its way right into the little slot on both sides. Just get your textiles lined up while you're doing it. And pull it down, it'll snap into place on both sides. And then we're gonna pull this little gap in the canopy over the adjustment trigger as well. If you look on the inside here, You'll notice on this hinged part that uh, first off, there are these little stretchy, like uh, elastic bits that go over these tags. There's two on either side. So you're gonna wanna remove those on both sides. Other side, elastic loops. One and two. And then with one of these hinges, you don't need to remove both but from the inside, you'll see there's this little button. So you press it on that button and you can pull out the rib. Other one as well, now I've removed one of these. Now, from the other side, we can just pull out the rest of the canopy ribs and we have the canopy separated. So you wanna find the front of the canopy, that's gonna be the portion that has the sun flap here and doesn't have this little Hole. Then you have your canopy ribs and your front rib is going to go here in the front into the sleeve on the inside and the back rib is going to go into the sleeve on the rear of the canopy. And slide it all around. You're going to take your other hinged adapter, pop it in place. And then there were these little elastic loops that go over the pegs there and there. And the other side. One and two. In the front, there are two buttons on the side here. that and in the rear you will find the same two buttons one and two 
flip the chassis over on its side. In the back, there are three Velcro straps. One, two, three. And in the front, there are three as well. shouldn't use this in a washing machine. There are some hard parts in here and stuff, but it's perfectly fine to wash it by hand. Remounting the shopping basket, I find it easiest if you use the buttons first. So line it up and put the front buttons on. Button up back side and then we're going to do those velcro straps so they just go through the same plastic slits that they were removed from one with the middle one it goes first through this sort of rear space and then around and in through that one. And then the last one. Front straps. You're gonna have these two, this two slit set up with all three of these straps. So in through the one that's most front facing and then back through the other one. And the same here. And through the front facing, or the front most slit, and then back through. And the last one. That is how you remove and remount the shopping basket on a Boogaloo Dragonfly. We hope the video was useful to you. If it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future.